So we'll find the artery. So if we're on the brachial artery, we should see the brachial veins right next to it, and they compress, the artery resists compression. Here's this cephalic vein over here, very superficial, compressible. And that's the median cubital vein arc going over top, really superficial as well. And that leads us to basilic, just somewhere over here, right there. So we're just going to check out the uh, structures in the axilla. In this case I have, since I'm behind the patient, I'm going to just keep the indicator away from me because it's more away from me on the screen where I'm looking. So in the axilla. We identify the axillary artery and vein. The vein is compressible, the artery is not. I'm gonna come out of the chest mode for a minute to look at subclavian vessels. So if we're looking for our upper extremity DVT, we would do this, so we come up Linear probe, we come right up on the clavicle, right on the middle, find the clavicle, slide just below the clavicle. And then we can see the subclavian artery pulsing down here. And if I ask him to Valsalva, big breath and hold, Now we can see the subclavian vein. And now relax. And we can even compress it a little bit. That's it down there next to the artery. If it's spontaneously collapsed, there's no clot in it. And if we're not sure, we can lie them back. Could also be That's a good target for central access too. Bear down again. So there's the vein we could target that for central access. And the artery's a little bit deep. Okay, you can relax. Or if we flip him on his head, then it's a good target that way. And then we should see the carotid artery and the internal jugular vein there. Same over here. There's the carotid and that internal jugular. Big breath and bear down a second. So we can make that IJ bigger and chunkier if we want to. Okay, relax. There's carotid, that's IJ, 